Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the area trapped between these two lines. So find the area trapped between these two lines. So find this purple, oops, find this purple area here. Okay, from, from, uh, from minus one to, uh, to positive one. Okay, so, uh, press pause and, uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, um, in, integrate it like this. So, uh, so, so imagine this is your, your rectangle here. Imagine this is your rectangle here. This here is your, your, this is the thickness of your rectangle. So the thickness is, it's, um, it, it would be dx. So, so your integral will be something, um, dx here. But the, the thing is, rather than integrating from minus one to, uh, to positive one, rather than doing this, um, notice that this, this shape is symmetrical. Is symmetrical. This side here is exactly the same as this side here, uh, and and the reason you know that is because if you look at the if you look at the function here, it it's um it's an even function because if if you put a, a negative version in here, it will be the same as the original function. So this is a is an uh, is an even function. This here is also an even function. If you um if you put a negative version of x into there, then the whole thing here will be the same as the original. The the point is that this is even, this is even, um the whole shape here is even. So rather than integrating from um from from negative one to to positive one, rather than integrating from negative one to positive one, just just concentrate on evaluating it from zero to one, from zero to one, and then later on times the whole thing here by by two. Times the whole thing here by two. Okay, um, so the the reason why the reason why this is a lot easier to do than 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 this is um is because later on you're going to get to to this so uh, evaluating at this minus one here and then later on if you do uh, later on you you're going to get to um to uh, to one and zero here evaluating zero is a lot easier than evaluating minus one so well. Uh, it's, it's easier to, to, to evaluate this and then times it by, times the whole thing by two later on. Okay? Well, anyway, this area here, how, this area here will be given by this. Okay, so, so half of, half of our area is from zero to one. Okay, so, so, so it's really us doing this and then evaluate it. So it's blah, 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 blah. You see, well, when it comes to this this stage here, this is really easy to do. Um, uh, if 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 you were to do this, if you were to do this, then, then you have to get this, take away this thing here. But then when when it's zero, it's a lot easier. All you have to do is this, take away zero. But all, all you have to do is this really. That will then take you to the here, and then it's blah blah blah. Um, the whole area equals this. Okay. Oh, oh, by, by the way, um, half of an area equals this. So, uh, so you times both sides by two. Then that would give you the whole area. Okay. And, uh, and also, um, also, hang on. Also, also when, when, when we were here, sorry, I, I, I jumped ahead. Um, these two will merge together to give you, when, when you integrate it, it will be 2x. Okay.